Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. So this is fan mail number 31, and this is a cup of tea that I really need a big drink of right now. Oh, I can tell you, much better now. So starting off, right off the bat here, we have a letter. M Hood Fishing, your fishing channel is the best on YouTube. I live in Northeast Texas near Tyler. I fish the Sabine and Natchez rivers. I travel to the coast and surf fish a few times a year. How do you keep your fishing reels from rusting in the salt water? I oil and grease my reels before trips to the coast and rinse after each day of fishing. Do I need to buy higher end combos? Do you know of any rust proof combos, combo spinning reels? Thanks for your time. P.S. If you're ever in Texas, give me an email. Yeah, you're right. All right, so a long time ago, when I first started fishing saltwater, I was using cheap stuff that's not sealed. And yeah, I would keep them greased and stuff, though. Back then, I used to take my reels apart more often than I do these days. These days, I don't do that very often. Once in a while, but mostly if I, if I really want to save a reel, if it's an expensive one, I'll let someone who does that for a living do it for me. But in most of the time i don't have problems with my higher end combos needing to be took apart on occasion maybe they need to be serviced and i'll just like i said i'll take them over to someone who does it for a living because they do it much faster than me and they have the time to do it whereas i don't always have the time to do that so i used to just do everything you do i would make sure they were all good and internally greased but these aren't sealed reels right they're cheap ones from walmart or somewhere other sources i would rinse them with fresh water after fishing and occasionally they would seize up or rust anyway so these days i still do all that i rinse them after fishing but most of my reels i use for salt water are sealed completely sealed some of them are more expensive than others but I mostly just have all sealed reels that I'm going to be fishing in the surf. However, I don't always fish with sealed reels off piers because they're not going to encounter salt water as much. So Daiwa and Penn, the two brands that I use the most over there, I'm pointing at the huge selection I got in here, they make sealed reels and they do cost a little more. But you gotta remember, I do this for a living, so it's worth it to me. It might not be to you. But I did get away with a lot of reels not rusting just by simply rinsing them with fresh water. And I don't mean just pouring some, I mean spraying them real good. Spraying them real good with a hose. Or if you, like uh, here in the, at this sink, I have a sprayer and I just bring the reel in the sink and spray it right there. And that works real good but like i said most of the reels i use in the surf are sealed even one of my my main bass rod has a daiwa sealed reel on it it's a reel you can use for bass but it's mostly sold for trout for speckled trout and stuff like that for surf fishing and that is sealed my other bass reels are not but here pretty soon i might switch them and all my bass reels will be sealed why would I do that? Well, I live in Southeast Louisiana. I could be bebopping around one day, fishing for bass, keep bebopping, next thing you know, I'm fishing somewhere in a marsh for reds. So my bass, most of my bass rods are compatible. They got 20 pound braid on them. That means I, I can put a fluorocarbon leader all the way down to six or four pounds if I want, or all the way up to 20. You know, I could put bigger car fluorocarbon leaders on there, but I usually, you know, 20 pound mainline, 20 pound leader for reds. That's fine for redfish around here. I have other rods that are similar to my bass rods, but they're a little beefier with 40 pound braid. You know, I use them for stuff like when I'm fishing for reds or pompano or something in the surf, 40 pound is good. I have some with 50 pound because sometimes you know, you, yeah, it's it's the salt water, right? It's the salt. You never know what's going to grab the bait. Yeah, you're right. All right, so we got one here from Clayton. 
let's get into it and see what Clayton sent me. I have an idea, but I'm not 100%. Here we go, we'll put that to the side real quick. If you saw, don't give it up. Throw that down. Got a little letter here again. Mark, here you go. Thanks, Clayton. All right, what is this? That's what that is. Trout magnet. Yeah, you're right, these are brand new. I'm not gonna open them right now. We can see just fine what's in there. Little jig heads. The hooks are not that small, but. Oh, is it something different right here? I kinda like this one here. This is all crawl baits. Yeah, we are going to be working with these pretty soon, Clayton. As soon as we get out of this full moon, it was out yesterday and today. I don't want to talk about it. Thanks a lot, Clayton. I appreciate that. We will get into that pretty soon. We got one here from David. I am tearing the heck out of this one because it's a package in a package. <laughs> This one is hate hardcore. Here we go. Yeah, I got another. I got another letter to read here. Hello again, Mark. It's me again. Glad to see you put my enormous fishing hook. Oh, that's right. David sent this. Do you guys remember that? I used it. It's a big fishing hook. I used it to pull a bike out of the bayou. Glad to see you put my enormous fishing hook to good use to retrieve that bike from a stream. Sent you the outdoor grill basket as well. Oh yeah, I remember that. So, I have so many baits, mostly bass plastics, and wanted to hand over the colors that don't work here for me's I can't throw anything out call me a hoarder of sorts please use as you see fit or share with others if you don't want some my feelings won't be hurt keep up the great content regards Dave Dave is sending this from Washington so I would think that if these are the baits that don't work in Washington, maybe they're darker than... There's a lot in here, by the way. Okay, there's some young crawls. Check those out. So what color is that? That's... Uh... It doesn't have a color on it. I've seen those before, though. What is this? Hoochie Coochie? The little swim bait from Cabela's. That's a watermelon red. That'll work. And that's a small swim bait too. Interesting. Got another yum bait here. It's a crawl bug. Green pumpkin. Looks like it's got red in it. You crammed a lot of baits in here, Dave. Huh. This is... Yeah, this is a... Bass Pro Shop stick bait. Cinco knockoff, pretty much. I can't see... Yeah, baby bass. That's the color. Those might work. Just had further north of here maybe a couple of places around here really clean water oh this is a pumpkin pepper 
Green, Florida? I don't know. What? It looks like watermelon red to me. And watermelon green or something. There's two different baits in there. But those... This is like, you could use this for a Ned rig or... Or you could Texas rig that. It's got a, a pocket on there to text bows. Oh, here's another bag of the same thing, but a different color. This is Red Bug. Red Bug looks interesting. What do we got here? Ooh, a little off the mark there. This is something similar to what I just shown you about by KVD. I'm trying to see the color. Glacier is the color. Look at those. That might work in salt water down here more than our fresh water. That's a little off the mark, but maybe we'll give that to Craig. And he'll be like, oh, I can catch fish on that. Yeah, okay. It's just a little too hot for this water. Our water is like stained dark, you know, darker than Texas tea. It's because of all the tan in it. Well, this one's a little hot, but this company I actually like. I've used this before up in uh, Wisconsin, but not that particular bait, not this pour here, and not that color. That is another Cinco knockoff. Oh, here's something more in line with my water. Yeah, you're right. You, you're telling me that green pumpkin doesn't work in Washington? That is excite and it is a green pumpkin but i'm trying to see their actual name of the bait it's kind of faded here raptor tail junior it's a like a crawl bait or a bug creature bait huh a lot of ned rig stuff in here dave there you go guys that might this might this will this will work this color here but i find it kind of odd that you know green pumpkin must work but that bait no it doesn't work there green pumpkin seems to be popular everywhere i would imagine that maybe green green pumpkin wouldn't work in the most clear of, of water maybe not oh mr twister Three inch meany tail, pumpkin pepper. Check it out. That looks interesting. There's a pocket chunk. I like these for my uh, bass jigs, but I don't tend to use bass jigs down here in Southeast Louisiana. I do like to use them in other places. And I do use pocket chunk on those a lot. This is interesting. I think this is a straight up trout bait here by Trout Max. I'm trying to see the, uh, it says trout worm, orange peel. That's what that says. It's just a little worm. There's more. Another pack of yums. This is a big swim bait right here. What is it a paddle tail? Yeah, it's a paddle tail. Yum pulse. 4.5 pulse. It's four and four and a half inches. Sinful shad. I'm not sure if that color would work. Maybe because it's got that green, that chartreuse. This is a Bobby Garland bait that I've not seen. I haven't bought Bobby Garland in quite a while. Slab Slayer. Pink Lemonade. I don't know if that would work down here, but I bet certain days it would. I kind of like the way that looks. 
check that out. That's pretty cool looking. Interesting tail. Is that the last bait? Yep. It's another pack of Yum Dingers. What color is that? Copper Flash. Four inch dinger. Yeah, you're right. I guess you could Ned rig that. You know what I would do with these? Not that one. These other four and a half inch ones that you sent me, Dave. These Yums here. Like this one and this one. I would do the Tiny Texas Child. The Tiny Texas Child is the same thing as a Tiny Child rig, but it's text posed. The Tiny Texas Child rig. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of a way of Ned rigging and Texas rigging at the same time. You put your, you put a tail weight in the tail and your Texas rig up here. So you can, it's the same thing as Ned rigging. It's just a slightly different rig but the same premise it's so you don't get hooked up and you can fish current with it and you don't get snagged yeah you're right all right guys you both sent me some really cool stuff clayton and dave <laughs> here we go here's there's a lot of stuff right there we got the uh the trout magnet stuff we're going to work with later and then because this is bass season for me we are going to use something in this pile that Dave sent. Yeah, you're right, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see you next time.